No matter how well your menu is designed in point of success and how many options you give to allow items on your menu to be ordered in a special way, your customers will always come up with another way to order any particular item on the menu. So it's a good idea to have comment buttons on really every screen in the menu. And a comment button is used to add a comment, just text information. It can be preparation instructions like, well, put the dressing on the side, or or it can be a preparation instruction like um, extra done on the crust or uh, extra sauce on the wings. Uh, wherever you need a comment or uh, wherever you need to further explain something that's ordered, use a comment button. There are three ways to set up a comment button, and let me show you one now. Uh, you can click the comment button on the component palette and drop that on the screen and then just type comment. And when this button is selected, a window will appear to allow you to enter the comment. You have a little more flexibility using two other types of comment buttons. Let's delete this one that we just set up. Let's uh, set up a comment using the conventional way to set up a comment. And you can use comments on two kinds of buttons, on an item button or on an include button, depending upon where the comment is on the menu. On the main menu screen, use an item button for a comment. So click item button and then drop that on the screen. And the item button properties window will appear type comment in the caption or any other word that you use to describe this and then the product code is selected for this button. Now the product code for a comment button is set up a little bit differently so let's click this magnifying glass and say new for the product code and in the code field let's type comment and then the description again is comment and the receipt description is the same. Actually, the receipt description will change based upon what you enter for the comment. And then under type, choose comment, and then you can save this product code. Now, the product code that we have assigned to this button is a comment type product code. And what that tells Point of Success is when you select that button, it will ask you for a comment. So we'll click Save, and now we have a comment button on our menu. Now, the other type of button that you can use with a comment button is an include button. And let's go to the pizza section of the menu in the conventional menu. And then on the screen where the toppings are, you can assign a comment button. So let's press F9. And because all of the topping buttons are include buttons, you should also use an include button here. So let's drop that on. Type comment as the button caption. And then we will use the comment product code we've already set up and save that. The behavior of an include button when it's being used for a comment is different than that of, a, uh, of an item button. And the difference is that on the include button, you can edit the comment. And so when you click the comment button on this screen, it will allow you to edit the comment you've already entered. So if you want to have multiple comments on a screen like this for toppings, just put another comment button right there. So it's basically line one and line two of the comment. Product code, choose comment. And save that. Now we have two comment buttons on our pizza topping screen.